Welcome back. What's up? We meet again. Yes. Okay, so um, we left off um, pausing a candy conversation. Oh, that's right. And now we're back to finish that conversation. Oh, you're wearing your Oklahoma shirt. I am. Yeah. Uh, I, I love that day, so I'm wearing, I'm wearing this. <laughs> okay, well. I interviewed people in this today. And I was like, well, it's just a really casual atmosphere here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. These girls are going to show up wearing, like, pajamas and stuff. <laughs> I told them it was fine. I don't care. <laughs> Casual Friday every day. As long as you help me. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Okay. So, so candy. Candy. Um, what were, you were going to tell me what your, your preferences are. Because I can't, like, like, I know roundabout, but not fully. Okay. Like yeah, I basically no, but I don't know. I can't remember the specific ones. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so here's my thing with candy. It depends on the situation. Like I have specific snacks that I would like to eat while I am in the car. Like road trip snacks are a totally different thing to me than like lounging in my house snacks. Like that's a different, that's just a different set of are we talking full snacks or just candy? Well, candy, I guess. Okay. Candy. But I consider candy a snack, so I don't know. Okay. So, okay, so if I was going on a road trip, I would pick things like Swedish fish. Um, wh what the, f what kind of candy is that? Like, that is like, like, if you hate somebody, you would give them <laughs> that. Are you kidding me? You never, you don't like Swedish fish? Hell no. Okay, for one, like, I think I have, like, tasted it, but the name alone, disgusting. But okay. they just taste like rubbery nothing. Like, there's barely any flavor, and it's just, like, a difficult, cheap-ass chew toy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what's great about them. That's what that makes oh. them good for snacking, because you can keep snacking, because the flavor is so minimal. It's like Twizzlers. Twizzlers is another one. There's very, like, minimal flavor to it, which is also why it's, like, a problem for people that snack all the time because, like, you don't get a lot of flavor, so you're like, I have to keep eating them. Twizzlers yeah. over red vines all day, every day, P.S. Uh, like, literally the worst candy in the world. Well, I, okay, I thought Twizzlers were the worst candy until you even classified Swedish fish as a candy, so now that takes the cake. But Twizzlers is, like, it's, like, basically – like you can snack on this cord that would be black licorice i don't like black licorice okay well let me paint this red and it will taste the same as a twizzlers like what well, the fuck is the point of eating this like delicious and you get to work out because your jaw has to work so hard so oh my god i hate any kind of food that puts me in pain and that's included chewy shit like that's painful. Which is interesting because is it your, one of your favorite candies is Carmelo. We like almost got into this last week and then we had to, I do, know. no, I don't like Carmelo. I'm frozen right now. Oh, you're, am I good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. I don't like Carmelo. I mean, I do. I mean, I'll eat it. Don't get me wrong. If anything is coated in chocolate, I will eat it. Like, Maybe coat, uh, you can maybe coat that wire in chocolate and I would, I could eat that meat. <laughs> um, but I like a very specific candy bar that cannot be found. It's so elusive. What is it? It's called caramel, but it's not caramel. It's a chocolate, it's basically a knockoff Carmelo, but 10,000 times better than a Carmelo. They don't tell me TJ Maxx? No. You, you get them through a specific fundraiser, and it's not World's Finest Chocolate. Don't try to get me that, because people will try to give me that, thinking it's the caramel that I like. But no, it's a it's a, in a white package, not World's Finest char Chocolate. You hear you? There, about this big, and it's flat, probably about this wide. And it's thinner squares of chocolate with, like, thinner layers of, like, the perfect caramel. And I would get them in like seventh grade 
in my civics teacher's class, she always sold them as a fundraiser. They were so good. They're so hard to find. You can't find them. You only had one teacher sell them. Are you sure it was a, for a fundraiser and not for her like booze fund for the weekend? Um, it could be. I think it's not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> Keep like candy bars in your classroom to sell them to your kids, and then like use that money to to drink away your sorrows for dealing with kids. I mean, yeah, that sounds fantastic. That's a okay, great. Idea. So your favorite candy is a shitty knockoff caramel chocolate bar. Not shitty, like superior to the max. Okay. Well, that's debatable. basically me and I almost called off my wedding because Bobby ate that candy bar. It's so good that I would only eat like one little bar of it and save it for like multiple days. And I have no self control, but it was that good. I'd only eat that much. And we were dating and I lived in my mom's house and I had it like by my computer in my room and I went and took a shower and I got out and I immediately saw the wrapper sitting up empty. And I was like, the fuck did you eat my car? <laughs> like, no. I was so pissed off, like crying, like get out, like leave. You can't come to this house anymore. It was a, it was a really bad time. I mean, yeah. that was low of him. Yeah. I will never forget that. That was like 12 years ago and I'm still talking about it. Well, I will find you one of those bars and I'll send it to you. Oh I, so sometimes when I buy snacks for the car, I like purposely won't eat it all because I want to save some for later. So mm -hmm. I put it away, like thinking, not that I want them in like 10 minutes. Like I want it like the next time I get in the car, but usually like somebody else in the family will go like blow through it. So then I get in the car and the fuckers just leave the wrapper right in the glove box or something. And that makes me so happy. rude. So I can totally, I know, right? Like that's yes. so crappy. Get rid of the evidence so I forget that it even existed. I mean, At least. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so I have a question before we dive. Well, yeah, okay. What do you think about circus peanuts? Do you like circus peanuts? Yeah, I mean, no. what are, cir are circus peanuts just peanuts in a shell? No. Man, this is the candy episode. Circus peanuts, those what? orange things that you buy in a bag, they're like a dollar. They're like, they're like marshmallows. Cheap candy. What? Cheap out of, okay, now I know what you're talking about. It's like a, a mushy little thing. Well, they're mushy when you buy them. They taste better stale. So I buy them and then leave them open for a day and then I eat them. You are somebody who actually buys that shit. I love that shit. Oh my God, what is wrong with you? They're so good. I prefer a fruity candy to a chocolatey, like savory candy. I can't do like too much. It's too much. So it hurts my teeth. Like, a, like, okay. like it took me so long to even realize what you were talking about because I've only seen those a few times in my life by like getting at like the shittiest house in the, a neighborhood for Halloween with like an a jackpot. Person. Huh? That's a jackpot candy. And who, wait, who gives out circus peanuts? That's not a Halloween candy. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I like, know right that. orange. You know what you're talking about. Like, I've honestly only gotten those in, like, like what I consider low points of my life. Oh. I thought of another idea for a show. We need to talk about Britney Spears at some point. I thought of you yesterday because I was on my way to my, yeah. What the? You eat these nasty pieces of shit? Yeah, they're really good. I love them. I could eat a whole bag of them. Uh, they're so good, but you have to wait a day because they don't taste good right out of the bag. You gotta like, they have to be stale. They have to, they like harden up and they're way better. For viewers who don't, who've only seen this in low points of their lives as well, remember. <laughs> they're so oh, good. My God. They're good, man. Okay. But moving on to other kinds of, okay. So I have a question about chocolate specifically then. Do you have certain brands of chocolate that you will eat or like any chocolate is good chocolate? Do you like Hershey uh, bars? Yeah, there's definitely certain brands. What do you think about Hershey bars? Not worth my time. Um, if it has almonds and I don't even like nutty candies that much, but a Hershey bar has to have almonds in it for me to to really waste my calories on it. I like 
Uh, yeah, okay. I, I would agree that adding a nut sure. to a chocolate definitely, like, enhances it, for sure. Or, and I like, like, I can do Hershey if it's, like, a miniature little nugget, like, the little, like, treasure-looking ones, you know? I know and what you're talking about. I like it to be dark chocolate. Do you eat crackles? Does no. anybody eat crackles? No. Okay. I mean, I will, like, if we get a variety mix... And it's like, it's like the last one that I'm like, I need chocolate and this is all that's left. Like I will. All right. So, okay. So that was your top candy. What are your other, like, what else, what are your other ones? Well, uh, Reese cut Reese's, any oh. variety of Reese. No. That's like the highest quality like candy you can get. You get shit that even the dollar store doesn't carry. So I don't want to hear it. Like you have no, you have no opinion in this conversation. I definitely do. My face is taking a pass. below candy. Okay. Reese's though is not the authority of candy. The ratio of peanut butter to chocolate is so fucking skewed with those. The okay. only thing we can eat one of those is if it's the egg, the Reese's egg. And they changed it recently and now like the ratio on that is off too. So I peel all the chocolate off and pretty much just eat the peanut butter. See, I almost think, like, I used to love eggs, but now I think it's too much peanut butter. Have you had a Reister Bunny? No. Okay, Reister Bunny is above my, uh, my elusive caramel. Love no. Reister Bunny. What is the difference? What's the difference? Oh, I'll pull up a Reister Bunny because no one knows what a I Reister Bunny imagine. is, and it's so important. And when I get passionate about Reister Bunnies, and tell people I always get at least one person a season to go get one, and then they contact me and say, "Oh damn, this is good." Let's see, Reister Bunny. So they're in a white package, and they're they come in multiple sizes. You can get like big ones or medium sized ones, or you can get little mini ones. Um, this is a Reister Bunny. Oh. oh my god. What? It's thin. I wish I could see you about cheap candy. What? No. I said you're trying to talk to me about cheap candy. This is not cheap. Anything oh, wrapped in like flimsy aluminum like that? Needle. No way. This is it's so it's a thinner. Someone posted a picture of them taking a bite out of it. I know the teeth marks really don't do it justice, but it's so like they could have broken it in half you know, to show the ratio. The chocolate is smoother and it tastes so good. And the peanut butter is a little bit crumbly, but not as crumbly. Oh, it be rotten. That's what you mean. Rotten. What? Yeah. Peanut butter is not supposed to be crumbly. It's peanut butter, yeah. man. It's not, it's not peanut crumbles. Okay, like Buckeyes are better when they've got a little crumble to the peanut butter. I hate Buckeyes. I don't think that I, in particular, I don't think I like the chocolate peanut butter combo. I also don't do mint and chocolate. So, like, I can't, like. Fine. <laughs> Fine now. I don't know what the symbol is. I'm not sporty. But whatever it is. No. Buckeyes are, like, like um, basically life. Girl, you need to get a new life. Listen, I like making Buckeyes because I feel like it's a, like it's, it makes me feel very like domesticated when I make them. It's a nice presentation, but no, I, they're so like, like oh, peanut buttery, like in a bad way. Mm -mm, I can't do it. Okay. So I'm an Oklahoma gal and Buckeyes are not like nobody. I could ask to the next 10 people that pass me about a Buckeye and no one would know what it is. Buckeyes are not a thing here. So every Christmas, my family in Ohio would send a big box and they would have our Christmas presents in it and a tin. And my grandma, my mamma had made Buckeyes. And like, oh, I love them so much. And like me and my dad, like we had to like divide them up and we all got like three Buckeyes or whatever. Like it was like the highlight of Christmas. Do we need to explain what Buckeyes are for people that don't know? Buckeyes are a gigantic ball of peanut butter and sugar and like butter, and then you dunk it in chocolate, but you leave, uh, like you don't dunk the whole thing in chocolate. You leave part of the peanut butter showing, so it looks like a Buckeye, which is like a nut, I guess, from a yeah. Buckeye tree. Yeah. So that's what it is. Very popular around Christmas. 
Okay, so let me think. Okay, so you know what? I have to back up for a second because as much as I just hated on Reese's and peanut butter chocolate candies in general, I have to tell you that one of my favorite savory car snacks is Reese's Sticks. They have a wafer in them, don't they? Yeah, they're like basically like like if Kit Kat and Reese's had a baby, uh, but with better chocolate because Reese's has better chocolate than Kit Kat. Okay, I don't like wafers. That's a waste of candy. But what? basically, all you like is wasting candy. Like you like the lowest level sweets possible. I can't even with this right now. Like stop, 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 like, stop. Stop, stop, stop. So you don't this eat like the your candy choices are like the sewer rats of like candy. It's like like so low. You, your favorite is a friggin' disgusting Easter bunny and a candy. Ah! Like a I'm sending you a whole package of them and you will devour them. I will not. I won't even eat them. I'll dump them in the trash. I don't eat anything that, like, I run the risk of missing a piece of that shitty aluminum that it's wrapped in and then getting it, like, stuck in a filling. Fuck no. I don't eat anything, like, wrapped in aluminum like that. Mm -mm, no way. But you'll eat chewy fucking shit. I like chewy stuff. I like it. Do you like Starburst? No. What? No, not at all. And Holden loves them, and I want to, I pull them out of his mouth half the time and don't want him to finish it. Why? Because it's chewy and it's a choking hazard and they make you have lots of saliva so then it can get slick and like go down like it terrifies me. Do you like Skittles? It, Skittles are really growing on me. Um, I can't get into one, one thing I wanted to say, um, but I can't. It's not appropriate. Um, but Skittles are... <laughs> Well, I'm intrigued. <laughs> uh, Skittles are growing on me. If it's the only fruity candy I'll eat, I'll say that. What's your favorite flavor of Skittle? Do you do original? Do you do the berry? What? I don't care. They you all need them all. Taste the same. Oh my gosh. I mean, okay, like, well, are you talking about like the variety? Like when you pick like the varieties, like. No, I'm talking about fucking Skittles, man. Uh, when you get a bag of Skittles. One? Yeah, there's like six different colors in the bag. Okay, we have a bunch of Skittles right now because we put them in the pinata for Hadley's birthday on Saturday. And yeah. she's been going through them and she won't eat the yellow or orange. And I'm like, they all taste the same. Just put them in your mouth. No, they don't. Red. Yeah, they berry, do. Green. I don't know what. <laughs> Purple. Grape. Orange. Orange. Yellow. Lemon. Like... They're all different flavors. The yellow is the best. There's like a twinge of a different flavor difference in them. Totally different. Absolutely different. I can I close my eyes and you can tell me when I can tell you what flavor it was. I don't put just one in my mouth. Well. <laughs> okay, I have to go back to this wafer thing for a minute. So like, uh, what do you think about Twix? Hey, uh, what? I will eat it if it's eat. Okay, so talking about, like, I'll eat any kind of chocolate candy that's in the house if I'm desperate enough. So, like, obviously, I will do Reese's first. I keep the trucks in my purse, man. No. Like, that's, like, um, last resort. Like, I need a crunch bar before a Twix. Ugh! Yeah. A crunch bar? Yeah. Like, when I'm digging at the bottom of the bowl, for one, I'd throw out any fruity thing, just put it straight in the trash. Not gonna do it. Never. And then, like, I would do, I would do, like, it would be like Reese's, Snickers, um, Milky Way. I like Milky Way. Three, three Musketeer. I like three Musketeers. And then I'd be like really getting to the bottom of the barrel. So then I would do like, um, like the solid, like Hershey bars, like the little tiny ones. And then crunch, and then Twix. That Maybe is Kit Kat, and then Twix. Like Twix is very bottom of chocolate. Why? It's like the perfect mix. It's chewy. It's crunchy. It's sweet. There's like the like the cookie in it, kind of like takes away. I have to say, have you ever had a peanut butter Twix though? Because you're in the peanut butter. Um, I have, and they're okay. I really like peanut butter Snickers. When did you have a peanut butter Twix? Like a long time ago, or like fairly recently? 
Oh, I couldn't tell you when. I feel like I've had one. I really can't like specifically. I have a, well, here's the thing. Because back in the day, when I was in like middle school, um, we used to have like a, like a snack bar. You could go buy yourself like treats or whatever. And you could buy single like Twix bars or whatever. But it was, you know, just like one candy bar. And they had peanut butter Twix, but they were different back then. So now the peanut butter Twix, the wafer in it is like an Oreo cookie and it's fucking gross. Back in the day, it was literally just a Twix, but instead of caramel, it had peanut butter. So it was way different. So if someone from Twix is watching this, I hate you because you changed the peanut butter Twix formula decades ago and you've ruined my life, like subsequently. So do you like Oreos? No. No. (laughs) No way. I will eat a golden Oreo, but I usually, I twist it apart and peel the cream off and I just eat the cookie. I will never eat a regular Oreo. I, I, okay. Cream? None of that. I've never been so close to calling you quits on our friendship than this show. (laughs) no, what is it about Oreo? We can never talk about this again. I'm really glad last time we had this discussion that I was pretty tipsy and didn't remember this because I probably still wouldn't be talking to you. There was a lot of jumping on furniture with both of us. <laughs> we were, there was a lot of it. There was a lot of, a lot of jumping. This is our biggest divide. This is almost like irreconcilable irreconcilable differences over right. shitty grandpa cookies oreos it has to be a double stuff or it's pointless but i love oreos we Not buy the golden them. oreos here okay. my, like they get gobbled right up but i don't like no mm-mm. it works never waste a bite on a golden oreo though like in my life why oh they're too wafery probably you like yeah, the ones there's not them. enough fucking flavor like that's flavorless. Do you do like the stupid Oreo flavors? You know, people are like, oh, pumpkin spice Oreo. And like, no, I'm not wasting my time. I don't want to mix it up and then be disappointed. I did get the triple stuff and I liked that. I remember something you said last week. You said that you liked M&Ms. Oh, I do. I like M&Ms a lot. That's like my car candy. Like if I need to get a, like that's the car candy for me. I basically only like them in the car. I'll eat them outside the car, but not very often. Um, I feel like candy at, like, what's your go-to movie theater candy? Uh, Well, here's what I do. We buy popcorn, and I buy, Tyler likes Bunch of Crunch. I much prefer, just don't eat it. It's harder to find the Heath bits. Do you you know what a Heath bar is? I would never, like, it sounds so gross that I wouldn't try it. It's a toffee bar, so it tastes really good. It's sticky in my teeth. I don't like sticky shit in my teeth. Okay, listen. So here's sticky shit in my teeth. Ever. That's why I don't do toffee. I barely do caramel. It has to be super smooth caramel. Ugh. Okay. I, if it were up to me, I would bring a bag of um, crushed up heath. You can buy it in the baking aisle to, like, cook with. And then you get a bag of popcorn, but you only have them fill it halfway up. And then you pour some heath in there, and then they top it off, and then you pour more heath in it so that the, it melts and it sticks to the popcorn, and you have, like, gooey toffee caramel. That sounds so messy in the dark. It's Oh, it's dreadfully messy. Totally messy. But it's hard to find the heath in the movie theater and without buying, like, a bag of it. So we usually go with Bunch of Crunch, which you can buy in a box at the movie theater. That, and- like, freaking, like... What is that baseball looking shit? Oh, Cracker Jack? Crunchy yeah, one? Is that the same? I don't think so. Hate think Cracker Jacks. I don't know if I've ever had Cracker Jack, but I think Cracker Jack has. I love it because it's equivalent to your little marshmallow peanut thing. I don't like marshmallow though. So that's the thing. Like, I don't eat s'mores. No, I don't do s'mores. I don't like marshmallow. I just like the circus peanuts. You know, I was really feeling pretty bad today, and now I feel even more sick. Like, this has me so upset. What if I ate this Twix right now while we were talking? Would that make I mean, you can do that. It has chocolate in it. It's just I feel bad for you that that's what you would pick. I'm not going to do that because I don't like people that eat on videos, but just know that I'm doing yeah. it in my mind. 
Okay, so let me I think. I a lot of string cheese in here because I'm feeling a little like not too great, but then I was like, no, I can't eat why. No, that's rude. That would be really rude of us. Okay, I'm trying to think of like what else. So holiday candy. So Buckeyes, is that like your favorite holiday candy? Yes. Um, I do Buckeyes and then I do Oreo truffles. Those are always a big hit. Bar. So <laughs> bar. Let me take this uh, shitty cookie, mash it up, and then reform it with my dirty, shitty cookie hands, and then present it to people. Here you go. This is chewed up Oreo, and then I fashioned it into a shape. Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Looks like someone hey, ate you're kind of gross how much you touch them. Yeah. yeah, that is gross. Yeah, it is gross. I mean, but you do the same thing with Buckeyes. I don't like candy that, like, you can't tell if someone spit on it. If you hand me a Twix bar and someone spit on it, I will be able to tell. You make a fucking Oreo truffle. I don't know what's laced in there. I'm not eating it. No. Okay. Okay. It's um, the Christmas spirit. So I hope if someone's going to the point to, like, make you candy for Christmas, that they probably aren't spitting in it. Because, like, it's kind of a big deal to make someone candy. And I quit doing that because I was always known, because, you know, I got domesticated real early. And I, I was always known from, like, age 18 on, I made Christmas candy and got tins and I would give it out to people. And, like, I was really young then, so, of course, like, nobody gave that back to me, like, gave me any candy. But then it went on for years and years until, like, seven years in, and I was like, fuck you all. Like, everyone got so used to getting Christmas candy for me. I've never once gotten Christmas candy from anybody. So you can all kiss my ass, and I've never gotten it again. Well, I totally agree with your logic. I'm the same way. A couple, I never, I don't do candy. My mom used to do candy. My mom and her friend would do rock candy. Have you ever had rock candy? You'd hate rock candy because it gets stuck in your teeth. Probably. Uh, anyway, they would do it every year, like tons of different flavors. And, but I started making cookies. I would do like, I did like the 12 days of Christmas cookies or I'd basically make like a different cookie every other day, the month of December. And then we'd hand them out. But yeah, like that's a lot of fucking work. Like, yeah. Did you ever get cookies back from people? I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -mm. Not doing it anymore. No, I don't blame you. We could have all still make them, and then I take pictures, and I'm like, "Ooh, got my Christmas candy done." And I was like, "Ooh, am I getting it?" And I'm like, "No, you're not." Mm -mm. I was thinking just a couple minutes ago, we should have saved this episode to, for closer to Halloween. It would have been more relevant, or Christmas. We can do reruns. That's true. All yeah. right, I feel like there was so much more to be said on candy, but like, I guess I can't. I feel like we ran the gamut real quickly. Yeah, we did just, like, plow right through this, didn't we? I'm trying to think of, like, what else. Do you do, like, gumdrops? Probably not, because it's sticky. That sounds like a waste of a can. That, your name, like, you probably like, like, six, sixlets or something. I love sixlets. Oh, I knew it. Sixlets are so hard to find. No, go to the wedding aisle, and they've been there since, like, 1998. Like, disgusting. Yeah, I love sixlets. Those are great little snacks. You just open up the top and just like pop, 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 like right in your mouth. All of them. No. Oh, yeah. wasteful. I like, okay, for, I love gummy bears and gummy worms and sour worms. Okay. See, that feels really gummy. weird. How do you not like gummy candies except for you like the gummiest, grossest of them all? Gummy bears? Yeah, I like to eat the little heads and then nibble their little arms off. That has got to be what eating an eraser feels like. <laughs> no, you eat those peanut things. Don't talk about erasers. If you can, okay, here is how I decide if I'm going to eat something or not. If I can hold it in my hand and break it in half, then, like, that's good. You can't hold a gummy bear and rip it in half. Who thinks about that? Me, just now. I could take a... <laughs> I could take one of those circus pants and easily break it. I'm not going to break my teeth over it. A gummy bear? That's like... Break a starburst. What? Break a starburst. Mmm, touche. Starburst is different because you can kind of step on that, though. And choke and die. How many people do you know that have choked and died? Okay, since you like, like, literally the lowest of low-life candy... You probably like fucking Tootsie Rolls, too, don't you? I love... This is over! 
I love Tootsie Rolls. I love them. Nothing excites me more than to go to the store, to go to the dollar spot. Look at my eyes. Like, I'm excited. Those gigantic, like, long, skinny ones are like a dollar. Oh, my God. And one better is around Easter when you get the flavored Tootsie Rolls. Oh, I love those so much. Okay, so uh, every bit of the candy that you like is in the shitty candy mix. That's like for like, you're obligated to go buy a bag of candy and you don't want to spend any money. So you're like, you like grab change from under the couch or like it's in your cup holder and it's enough to get like 102 pieces of like the shittiest candy ever. And that's your favorite. Yeah. Like, you know that you are absolutely 100% not going to win on people siding with you when like the prices of this stuff say it all like 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 my mixed bag of candy of my favorites is like ungodly expensive it's like 892 for like 51 pieces and you can get a lifetime supply for like 99 cents of your favorite candy which is ironic given our bargain I, uh, it really is, and it kills me every time I have to buy good candy. It's so expensive. Let's not, like, pretend like you're buying, like, top-of-the-line shit, though. I feel like Snickers and Milky Way is pretty, like, whatever. That's, like, a standard. It's not like you're out buying, like, Trader Joe's chocolates or anything like that, which I, I never do. never walked in there. Do you like, like, fancy cuisine chocolates? Like, are you into, like, almond and, like, orange-flavored dark, do you like dark chocolate? Mm -hmm. I do like dark chocolate. I will do dark chocolate. And I feel like I'm, like, doing something diety. <laughs> That's what they say. This is healthy. I can eat as much as I I didn't expect you to like dark chocolate. I thought that we were going to have to, like... I prefer dark chocolate over milk chocolate if it's just a solid bar. I do, too. For sure. Do you like salted chocolate? Hate it. <gasps> no! <laughs> like, salted caramels? Disgusting. I, someone gave me one one time and it was like a boutique -y one and like I popped it in my mouth and I was like trying to be appropriate and not spit it out. Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. Oh, what? No. Don't like Salt it. Salt and caramel are like, it's too chewy. I can't even like, it's it. big. They're like the belt. Ah. My internet connection is unstable. Okay, it's better. it's better. Okay. I feel like we need to have a conversation on salt and caramel on its own. Literally, I buy the cheap caramels at the store, and then I sit in my kitchen and put sea salt on them before I eat them. I smash the little sea salt, whatever is right into it, and pop it in my mouth. Those are, it's I so mean, good. It's, do you just, like, only look for candy that's going to challenge your teeth to the max? You know, it's funny that you say that, because when I was, like, Six or seven after Halloween, I was eating a now and later and it ripped my filling right out. And so I can't eat now and laters anymore. So I guess you'd think I wouldn't do chewy candy, but I do. I hate taffy. I love taffy. I hate, like, you work so hard at your candy for it to not even have much flavor. Taffy has a lot of flavor. And yeah, yes. I'm going to eat 600 calories worth of this gigantic one pound bag of taffy, I guess I can work 20 or 30 off by like chewing it. Oh, my mouth hurts just thinking about it. Really? I can't believe you don't like fruity candy. Do you not eat fruit? I mean, yeah, only certain fruit. Like I hate cherries with a passion. All of them? Yes, I would never eat a cherry. Ugh, I hate cherries. But, like, apples, oranges, bananas, grapes, blueberries, strawberries. Like, I'm good with that. Like, yeah, I like that. How do you not like strawberry-flavored candy? If I do, like, mm, no, no. I don't want candy that tastes like fruit. Just like I don't like fruit pies. I don't want a pie that has fruit in it. Like, I want a pie to be crammed full of, like, chocolates. I don't eat pie. Ugh. It is warm, warm fruit, the worst. Gross. Soggy warm fruit. Okay, I can agree with you. We should end on that because I won't be able to speak to you for a long time if I find out one more, like, <laughs> terrible thing about your candy choices, and I've got to get Hadley to, to dance. So. All right, that sounds good. All right, well, you guys know the drill. Let us know who is in the right here. What's your favorite candy? Well, this is, a, this is real tough. I don't know who they're going to pick. People like fruity candy. 
No, that not like you didn't even say fruity candy. You said like shitty ass candy. Like <laughs> whatever. Tell us what you're looking forward to stealing from your kids' trick or treat bags this year. Yeah, that's a good idea. I right. grab all the chocolate, right. obviously. Okay, goodbye. Katie'll send, Katie send the winner Buckeyes. <laughs> I will. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>